Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. This video is part B of how to make a get response web form opt in page for our chosen product. We'll be connecting the opt in page with our get response autoresponder. Here is the web form we finished in the previous video. We'll go now to the next step. We'll turn the confirmed opt in off in the campaign settings at a later stage. We'll leave this off. We've clicked the custom thank you page and we'll go to our notepad. We'll copy the hop link which we took from our Clickbank promotion page and we'll paste our hop link in there and take the next step. We'll choose get response to host my web form and we'll click on this to copy to clipboard and we'll put that in our notepad. We'll go to our web form list and we'll take a preview that looks well. We'll go to our notepad we'll copy the link from the clipboard and we'll go to any other link shortener other than Bitly because Bitly is not compatible with Clickbank. I've come to tinyurl.com. I'll paste my hop link into here and I will customize it with an innovative word and make tinyurl. That is able to be copied from here. I'll paste that in my notepad. I'll copy that link into a Word document, make it into a clickable link and test that. That brings us to our website and if I enter my name in here and my email address in here and press OK, I'm ready for traffic Travis, we should see it go through to get response and my email will be captured. Here's the website and if I press on the download free I will go through the download process we looked at earlier and I will see that my Clickbank nickname registering me as an affiliate to this product is there and I will just go through the process we looked at earlier to check on that and I'll proceed to check out I see the amount at the top ninety seven dollars I'll scroll down to the bottom and I make sure that my Clickbank nickname is in this affiliate confirmation box hope you have found this information useful we're now at the end of how to connect a get response web form opt-in page with autoresponder it was part B of how to make a get response web form opt-in page for our chosen product. For more social media tips and strategies, you may go to my website, I'm socialmediatraffic.com and thanks for watching.